Ladies and gentlemen, thanks to some Japanese retailers, we have official images of the new summer sets, and oh my gosh, this is going to be one of the most amazing lineup of sets that we've seen in quite a while. We have almost every single one virtually, and um, we're going to be going over every single set that we have here today, talking about the set itself, the minifigures, and everything like that. So the only set that should look familiar here is the Trouble on Tatooine, 75299, of course we all know what that is. Let's start off with the Mandalorian Imperial Troop Transport. This is set number 75311, comes with three minifigures, two of which are going to be regular Stormtroopers, one is going to be the brand new yellow stormtrooper print and then we're also going to be getting our very first grief cargo minifigure which looks pretty interesting i really don't have anything against that per se now prices are still a little bit up in the air of course there are rumored prices that we've been hearing about for the past couple of months however I'm not going to really report any price until i 100 know it for a fact but that set looks pretty cool i think the transport itself looks pretty great um especially i'm excited for the yellow stormtrooper however i'm not a fan of the stormtrooper design at all if i'm being honest so it's probably going to be a pass for me on day one the next set is actually the most surprising one for me the slave one actually looks very very good this was a rumored price of about 50 or 60 dollars it's set number 75312 it comes with boba fett and din jarin now this is very different from what people were sort of thinking about because there were a lot of speculation about whether maybe han solo would be included but it's very clear this is going to be a mandalorian tv show style of slave one so of course the boba fett is brand new he is in his older more rugged armor that we saw from the show which i cannot be more excited about Overall, Slave 1 actually really impresses me, and I think this is probably going to be a day one pickup for me as well. And the last ship on this front page right here is going to be the Moff Gideon's Cruiser, or otherwise known as the Arquintons, I believe it's called. Set number 75315 comes with a lot of minifigures. You have the Child, you have Din Djarin or the Mandalorian. We get Cara Dune. Cara Dune is not canceled, contrary to popular speculation. We get a brand new Fennec minifigure, a brand new Moff Gideon figure who does not come with an actual Dark saber it's just going to be a lightsaber with a black blade which is kind of disappointing and we got a dark trooper oh my god these last three minifigures right here are looking so freaking amazing especially the fennec and the dark trooper i really want to build up a dark trooper army but that'll be time for another video otherwise the cruiser itself actually looks phenomenal i was assuming it would be along the scale of like the star destroyers that we've gotten in the past but i think overall the design and the details are great you can even see a tie fighter rolling out the very front of the arquintons looks really really cool and then obviously the bridge and the engines and just the overall shapes achieved by the wedge plates look phenomenal so i'm really excited to get this set now moving on into the second page here of course we do have the bad bat shuttle which we all know about but there are two ones that i am most excited for the first one is the mandalorian throne room it's set number 75312 i believe it's called officially a duel on mandalore we do get a regular ahsoka minifigure that came in the aat the maw minifigure is going to be really new uh the legs are printed differently to represent his biotic legs which is nice we're getting something a little more screen accurate the throne itself looks pretty cool I knew it wouldn't really be too extensively detailed because it is a $20 Lego set, but I really like how it actually comes with the container for Maul's containment that you see him being transported to the Republic Venator towards the end uh, episodes of Season 7, which is really cool. So I'm actually a really, really big fan of this. I am definitely going to get this one. And the last one, the one I'm most excited for, is the Mandalorian Fang Fighter, or what's just called the Starfighter. This is 75316, comes with three minifigures, all of which are completely brand new. Gar Saxon, Bo-Katan, and then a Mandalorian Loyalist, or I believe you could just sort of call him a Death Watch Mandalorian at this time. This set has been my one I'm looking most forward to. I've always been looking forward to getting Death Watch and Mandalorian, Mandalorian, Mandalorians. I really want these guys, as you guys can tell. The Fang Fire looks great. It looks like really, really uh, just kind of a copy of the older one, which I'm fine. The color scheme is a little bit different, and it looks like there are more details in the ship itself, but I am completely okay with that. I'm looking forward to the set coming out, and uh, yeah. So that's pretty much all the exciting Star Wars summer sets that got sort of revealed by this Japanese retailer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, once we get some more HD images, we'll be rolling out some more videos in depth for you guys to take a look at. Let me know down below what you guys think is the best one so far. I think I'm most looking forward to the Mandalorian Starfighter, although I gotta say that Moff Gideon's Cruiser is looking fine. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like down below. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll see you later. Take it easy. Peace.